about five days ago, Galileo updated their developer docs. And during this update, they quietly expanded an entirely new section around small and medium sized business lending. Here, they included details on what this product offering would be what it would look like, how it would work, and how it would benefit these partner businesses. So let's take a look at just how Galileo is talking about their small and mid-sized business lending product. So to start, let me say that over the past week, I've been keeping quite busy around new and breaking news around SoFi and Galileo, many things that the retail community has picked up, but the wider community, especially finance mainstream media has not been talking about at all. So if you do like this channel and if you value content shared in these videos, definitely share this out, consider subscribing for more similar content and consider becoming a member. I try to do about one unique members only video per week that usually is about an hour. Like many pieces of recent breaking news, I found this out through the SoFi stock Reddit where Bender9000 posted about it. And just looking at some of the developer documentation for Galileo, we can see that this page was last updated five days ago. So around Thursday or Friday of last week, which would suggest that Galileo is actively working on this product and that we could be receiving more frequent feature updates around it very shortly. It's definitely something to look at more frequently. So just a high level overview here, Galileo is launching a new installment loan product aimed at providing financing to small and mid-sized businesses, otherwise known as SMBs. Galileo's installment loan product gives you the ability to create and manage virtually all aspects of your SMB loans, including simulating loan offerings for customers to make an informed choice onto the terms of their loan. Uh, they mentioned that Galileo would work closely with clients to configure the terms, the interest, the fees, and all the other little settings which we're going to go in a little bit more depth on in just a second further down the page they included some use cases highlighting the three core use cases for smbs being startup capitals so basically businesses can secure startup funding to kick their business off they can include expansion capital to just expand operations and they can have day-to-day -day operations through working capital these are the three main use cases that galileo highlights for why small and mid-sized businesses would want to leverage installment loans a little bit further down the page, they include some of the benefits of this program, highlighting that Galileo's offering is going to enable clients to, number one, streamline the loan management process. Galileo can help you manage loans by performing tasks such as payment processing, interest calculations, delinquency management, and just overall reducing the workload for clients. Number two, increasing the transparency. And the reason for this is because you get real time data. So repayment schedules, loan payment statuses and balances, you can get that all through their APIs. Number three, enhancing lender capabilities. So providing lenders with detailed daily reporting and allowing you to monitor loan performance and identifying potential risks. This is also a customer experience improvement by offering more flexible lending terms. We're gonna talk about the configurations in just a second. And finally, number four, real-time disbursement of funds. So funds are immediately available in the customer's account after the loan is accepted with Galileo DDA accounts only. I'm assuming that stands for direct deposit account. In the next section, they determine what the customer has to provide and what Galileo provides. And look, I did a little bit more digging on the customer side. Of course, it leads into a separate page full of checklists and approvals to set up installment loans with Galileo. This provides instructions. And interestingly, from what I was reading, it seems as though they're doing SMB lending and buy now, pay later as a grouped product offering for businesses. The initial paragraph here talks about how installment loans are a part of buy now, pay later service. And I think the reason why they do this is because it's very flexible after looking at the configuration to customize the loan offering however the customer might want. They state here in the paragraph that you can configure loan sub products that have varying items. You can configure interest rates, fees, payments, and other settings across your business depending on your requirements. Now, the rest of the page here is a guide on the necessary requirements to set this up, so we won't go through all of this. The customer, of course, needs a relevant lending license, but this can also be done through a partner bank. So this ability to do it through a partner bank unlocks a whole new realm of partner businesses that Galileo can go after by targeting this product to SMBs. Now, skipping some of these configuration steps, I wanted to dive into this table at the bottom of the page just to highlight how customizable this product offering is. There's over a dozen different configurations on this table for a customer to totally customize their loan offering, which is really amazing. And I think this customization aspect will be something that will appeal to customers because it's more flexible. Now, if we look at just the side navigation here, we can see that the about SMB lending is grouped into the same 
category with the buy now pay later service offerings which makes sense because galileo is talking about them together uh, and just exploring some of the other pages through buy now pay later they go in depth on configurations they added a new section in buy now pay later which is b2b buy now pay later um, they talk about installment loans they talk about the workflows around the user experience which i found pretty insightful in terms of you know what happens first what the user has to do what is the user flow they also talk about in-depth workflows around how the back end is architected in other words what happens on the customer side and then what happens in the back end on the galileo side through that workflow and obviously this is intended to developers as all of this is technical documentation to help developers set this up for their respective organization so they're going to have a lot of detail here those are the customer requirements that whole checklist of approvals what galileo provides is loan management so you can create a loan with a payment schedule and then have repayments in installments you can simulate loans like i mentioned before so you can generate data points needed to populate a loan disclosure document and a Truth in Lending Act agreement. You have API endpoints to manage the loan from creation to charge off. I'm gonna talk about this in just a second, but these APIs really allow you to have flexibility in terms of the frequency of you getting updates on the status of your active loan, on future installments, on repayment terms, and much, much more. And finally, you have daily files for loan reconciliation. So those are all fantastic benefits. And I think this table at the very end on the loan API endpoints was something that I found really interesting, just seeing how many endpoints are already built out in their API to cover all of these use cases, whether it's, you know, simulating loan options to compare different aspects. They have the API to create SMB loan and disperse funds directly into Galileo linked account through their API to get loan status. So balance, loan cycle, remaining payments to create payments to loans from Galileo or external accounts to monitor the status of those payments made through a payment schedule and to get loan installment statuses and loan update statuses. Now, all of these links go into their own separate rabbit holes, and I'm gonna attach this uh, link to the developer documentation in the description of this video. If you're curious and you wanna read through technical documentation as to how this happens, I'm sure there's nuggets of information there that's really interesting in terms of how Galileo is managing to do this. But the overarching point is that this is all very positive for Galileo as SoFi's tech platform, as it provides more flexibility and more customization around the loan options for small and mid-sized businesses to be able to leverage. Now, remember, Galileo would work with other companies that either have a lending license or work with a partner bank who themselves have a lending license who can enable them to give out loans. Galileo is providing the infrastructure to do this. I think it's smart for Galileo to be offering a full stack loan management platform, including payment processing, including interest, including delinquency management. All of this can really reduce admin overhead for lenders that they currently have uh, as a lack of these infrastructures, especially considering that through the API, all of the data is in real time. And you know, one thing that really impressed me was the customization options here. To configure this loan, you have so much in terms of adaptability, and that adaptability, I think, can be a really big selling point for Galileo, especially since you're comparing it to the legacy players that are severely limited by the lack of their technical architecture, right? They are on legacy tech stacks. It doesn't make them very flexible. It doesn't make them very scalable. And all of a sudden, you have Galileo here opening up their API endpoints to provide everything you could possibly need around this product offering, which makes the case for Galileo all the stronger to these businesses that are picking a vendor. Uh, the other point to make is that Buy Now Pay Later is still a relatively new offering, and all of these are changes which are constantly improving the status quo. Galileo is actively working on this product. I mean, the update jet just happened five days ago signifies that this is all work in progress and they have the opportunity to make changes based on market feedback. They roll this out to a beta, they can iterate based on that. And this is really stuff that, you know, is not promoted that much, definitely not in mainstream finance media. I don't think you're gonna see a crazy world of change, but what you will see it reflect, how it will translate, is more growth in the tech platform as a result of these features, potentially also higher margins in the tech platform, and ultimately higher lifetime value clients because they're stickier, because Galileo through their architecture and infrastructure has offered a moat to clients, which legacy players cannot compete with because they're limited with that legacy infrastructure. Now, SoFi did mention that the tech platform should be picking up towards the end of the year. So really great to see them executing on that. Like I said, these are little nuggets of information that are picked up by the retail investment community. So I definitely want to hop on and make this video and just share a little bit about that in general, because I feel like Galileo as a tech platform 
of SoFi is not really talked about nearly enough. A lot of people focus on the bank, they focus on lending, they focus on even SoFi Invest because there's a higher barrier to entry between that baseline awareness of knowing these technical terms and really what's happening, but it's really gonna be powering a lot of these institutions. So the fact that they're entering into the SMB space, I think that it's really smart. And I think that there's a lot of market share to capture in that space specifically. So really great to see them executing on that. For right now, this is the Fundamentals of Investing podcast. Like I said in the beginning, consider sharing, consider subscribing, and consider becoming a member. Thank you so much for listening.